All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kadash. Um, doubles, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth and sincerity with charity. All right. And um, basically, I just want to go into a, a lesson about the uh, ISUPK. Basically, a, a vision, a dream that I just had about the ISUPK. I'm literally just waking out of this vision that the Lord just gave me. And as of late, the Lord's been giving me visions, you know, for whatever reason, for his own purpose. You know, call on you like Yahweh Shemi Al-Shah. All praises on our glories do, right? And basically, uh, in this dream, it was me and a bunch of people, and we were going into a, a office building, a big office building, um, and uh, I don't know where it was at, but I know it was a big office building. It was a lot of different office businesses that, you know, dealt with the city and um, the government. So basically, it was me and a bunch of people, and um, I guess I was going there to handle some business, but there was a lot of people in there that were applying for government jobs, okay? And behind all the desks, behind all the desks, uh, in this government building, well, put it like this. There was a particular part of the building where you could go to apply for government jobs. All right. And there was another part of the building where I was at at first, where you just handled government business. Like you went there to, uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, mail out shit and, you know, handle government shit, kind of like a city hall building, okay? Um, but in this particular part of the building uh, where people were applying for government jobs, it was all ISUPK members at the desks, at the desks. And um, I'm trying to remember it the best I can. Call a lot of like, how about Shemi al shot. And um, basically, I saw these ISUPK members, they were all behind the desk. And uh, I guess some people that I knew I was talking to that were in the line trying to apply for these government jobs, you know, talking to these ISUPK members, I bas basically, I got in that line and I started, uh, you know, I, I went to uh, basically talk to one of the ISUPK members. And I asked him something about the scriptures. I can't remember exactly what I uh, what it was, Salakia. But uh, I basically said something to them of the effect, like, hey, y'all ain't men of the Lord. Basically, y'all juiced in. Y'all with them people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I started walking out of the building. I started walking down some stairs. And they started, like a lot of them, uh, a couple ISUPK guys started trying to follow me. But there was a lot of people in the building, you know, there to handle business, just regular people. And um, so I was able to kind of make my way through the crowd and get out the building. But when I got out of the building, um, basically there was uh, a one ISUPK member that was following me. And um, behind them were more that were following me, trying to follow me. And then um, basically one of the guys caught up to me, but he was an older guy. And basically I turned around like, man, what you want, bro? You 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 with the y'all with them peoples, man. Y'all y'all working with the police, basically. And then um, basically what happened was uh, the nigga the nigga um, swung on me, man. 
But, you know, he was an older guy. He was kind of like tall, bald head, older guy. You know what I'm saying? And he, he had a really weak punch. And his punch kind of rolled off my jaw. Like, I was like, man, whatever, bro. And I grabbed him. I was like, man, what's up, bro? Like, what, what the fuck is you on, man? Why is you trying to fight me? And then I looked him in the eye. I said, what if I'm one of the prophets? And you just hit one of the prophets. And then he looked up to the sky. Then he looked at me. And then he apologized. And he repented right then and there. He said, sorry. You know what I'm saying? And I put a blessing on him. I said, hey, man, how about Shimei Asha bless you? So he repented. And then he just dipped off. You know what I'm saying? He was sorry about what he did. But there were three more behind him that were kept following me. So uh, basically, I was able to shake him. I shook him. You know what I mean? And um, I remember trying to uh, basically, uh, I was going home. In his dream, I was still staying with my, my parents, my mom and my stepdad. And um, as I was getting close to my neighborhood and my block, I said, wait a minute. The spirit told me, hey, hey, hey they following you. They following you. So I was like, okay, well, I didn't want to endanger my parents' house and anything like that. So I went into the alley to see if I could see anybody at either ends of these alleys following me. So I looked at one end where I thought they was at, and uh, I didn't see them. Then I looked at the other end, and I saw one of the ISUPK guys. So I ran to the end of the alley, kind of cordoned them off, and then I saw him at the alley. I was like, yeah, y'all motherfuckers following me. Y'all the police. Y'all working with the police. And then the, um, the ISUPK nigga, um, he basically got talking, started talking shit. Yeah, fuck you, nigga. Yeah, we, yeah, well, we following your ass, man. So I ran up on the dude, man, and uh, we started boxing. You know, we started re uh, fighting, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, basically the nigga had, I know the nigga had a weapon on him. He had a gun or something on him, man. But the Lord put me this, on the spirit on me to subdue him. And I took a, a, a brick and I started bashing his skull, man. I just bashed his skull uh, uh, with the brick, man. You know, and then I woke up, man, okay? But uh, I say all that to say this, man. You know, well, I just want to share that dream, you know. But, you know, and, and I'm not, it's not to say that uh, there's no elect amongst these men. Because I believe there is. I believe the dream told me that. Because one of the men that, that they sent to me, when he actually put his hands on me, he, he, he gave me a weak ass punch. You know what I'm saying? I just looked at him like, "Come on, man! Like, are you serious?" And uh, but he repented for what for what he did, man. Okay, but the other nigga, uh, the other nigga, man. You know, I had to I had to kill his ass, man. But the point the point is, the uh, I say all that to say this, man. These niggas is juiced in, 100 percent, man. You know, you, you know we you know. People keep wondering why Captain Tazariak is uh, still you know, with uh, General Yohanna, man. It's because he's getting paid. This dude is getting money. I remember when he first got that chain, man, that big ephod, that gold ephod on his chest, man. That's money, man. That's that's These niggas is, is into a lot of money, man. You know, they got a little school, you know, in a, in a van out here in Chicago and shit, you know. But these niggas is juiced in, man. That's why they they pushing the Maxine. They even making songs about it, man. Okay? You know, these, these niggas is working with them people, man. You know, and the Lord, Lord sent me that vision, man. You know, but, um, you know, I just want to share that. But let me get a... Um, let me get a scripture. Okay. Um, this is Jeremiah 5 and 26. You know, and I'm not going to make this lengthy because I've been having problems with my mobile and Esau be cutting my shit off like the bitch that he is, man. But it's okay. Uh, this is Jeremiah 5 and 26. You know, if the Lord wants this to come out, it's going to come out. Ain't nothing you can do about it, Esau. You know, the Lord, the Lord will take hold of uh, this uh, this computer of yours. 
This is Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares. They set a trap. They catch men. And that's what they're tra that's what these these niggas are paid to do, man. Okay. All right. To uh to, to snare you up, to lay up stumbling blocks, man. You know? As the scripture says, they they prepare a table for that troop, man. They're preparing the table for for Esau Edom to come in and devour you, man. So is IUIC, so is GOCC, so are all these other bootleg camps, man, that are juiced in, man. Alright? As the cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. And the scriptures talk about uh, these are the sort that um, that lead captive silly women laden with uh, di uh, diverse lust, man. Laden with iniquity and, uh, the late, uh, and diverse lust, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, uh, uh, the simple, man. They, they trap the simple people, man. You know? These people do not believe in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. These are the are, are wicked uh, traitors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Trying to get you jabbed up with that uh, Maxine injection, man. All right? These guys have taken a bag. They've taken a purse. These niggas work for the government, man. All right? Now I doubt everybody in that organization is privy to privy to that information. I'm pretty sure it's just the higher up in rank that understand that, you know, 100%. Uh, but hey, that's what it is. And you have people all over com all their comment boards when they were talking about that Maxine, basically saying that these niggas sold out, man. As the cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich, right, man? And these niggas are, are waxing rich, man. That's why Captain Cesariak won't leave ISUPK, man. It's some heavy gangster shit going on. The nigga might not be able to leave. You know, after all the making all that money with uh, with, with General Yana, General Yana, that's the type of nigga. The nigga I done gave you over. Over a million dollars, nigga. You leave, I'll kill your ass. I'll kill your family. I can see him saying some shit like that. So it's probably a lot more reasons that Captain Tazaria can stand than when we than what we think. But either way, nigga, you gonna fear him more than the Lord? Well, you'll get destroyed for that. At least you repent. They are waxing fat, they shine, they overpass the deeds of the wicked, right? You overpass the deeds of the wicked, man, because you are you are basically claiming to be men of the Lord, man. You 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 actually come in the name of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, although you don't push it, you put it on the back burner, you throw it under the rug, but that's the name that you say you come in. Every blue moon, you hear we hear you say it. So, hey, man, you have a greater condemnation, as the scripture says. They judge, uh, uh, they judge not the cause, they, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper, and the, and the right of the needy they do not judge. Okay, why? Because you're you're leading them, you're leading these people to the mob. You're leading these people to uh, to their destruction. Shall not I visit for these things, saith Yahweh Power? Of uh, Yahweh Power. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? So Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, as the scripture says, judgment shall begin in my house, man. All right? The Lord's going to deal with you niggas very harshly, man. At least you repent, man. So. And 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 uh and uh honestly I can say man in the dream cuz I wasn't afraid of them niggas man in that dream man I was not afraid of them niggas man like I didn't have a, a lick of fear in me man I was really just trying not to go go ham and just crush them niggas you know cause, but the Lord gave me the power and the uh the opportunity he let me crush one of them niggas' heads in my in in, in in my vision, man, with a rock. And it makes me think about the word, man. It's not my word like a fire. 
and as a hammer that break up the rock in pieces, man. All right. But one thing I do remember, like like I was I was trying to say just now, you know, I'm I'm a little all over the place, Salaki. But um, when that one man looked at me, repented, man. You know, I really loved it that man. Like I looked at him, man, and I didn't want to hurt him, man. You know, and I really was happy in my spirit when I saw him repent, man. You know, and he went on about his way, sorry, sorry about what he did, man. You know, all right. So, yeah, man, you know. But let me uh, read the rest of this. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. And it's a wonderful thing that these men are speaking, man. They're speaking some big, big shit, man. They just, this, this, one, this particular camp just came right out with it. No, at least, um, you know, at least Nate Satan, you know, did a video basically kind of throwing shade on the, on the Maxine a little bit. Like, look, I'm going to wait and see what that Maxine do to everybody else. At least he did that. But these niggas came straight out like, nah, take the Maxine. You a coward if you don't. Like, what? Hey, man. The prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. Right? So they're ruling over people carnally, man. And my, uh, these are men are set up by Esau, man. And my people love to have it so. And these niggas love it, man. They love it. You know, they love having family in their congregations. The kids crying and shit and, and chairs and shit. Look, man. <laughs> that's not what the... Pro hey, this is not... <sighs> this ain't that, man. All right? This is all about prophecy with, with us at Great Millstone. It's all about what we're reading. And that's it. Leave out all the rest, man. And what will ye do in the end thereof? So what are you going to do when the Lord comes visit y'all ass niggas? You know? And the Lord is going to visit you, man. He's going to deal with you. It's going to be worse for you than it is. On, on this side, it's going to be worse for you than Esau. You're going to get a worse ass whooping on this side than Esau is, man. Okay? Because you knew the truth, man. You know, so it's going to be worse for you, man. You're going to be the worst of the two thirds, man. You niggas that mishandled this word, that actually knew the name of the Lord, actually came in the name of the Lord deceitfully. Oh, you niggas are so fucked, man. You know, but that's just a vision that the Lord just gave me right now. And I just wanted to share with you, Aki, man. You know, we have to keep this word as it was given to us, man. And, um, you know, adding it and taking away, as it says in the uh, book of Revelations, the 22nd chapter, hey, all the plagues, all these plagues that's written in this book gonna come upon you, man. All right. Hey, so with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakah, Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Aki, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, Shalom, and the Bible, Bob.